Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. It may only be a matter of weeks before Canada has a new CRTC chair. There are four main contenders for the CRTC chair position. There is interim chair Len Katz, Vice Chair Tom Pentefuntis and uh, Commissioner Timothy Denton, all of whom have applied. Uh, and as well, there are rumors that Conservative insider John Pierre Blaise, who is somewhat unknown at this point, will also be throwing his hat into the ring. We'll soon come out with a piece that profiles the contenders, but there are a few things that we'd like to say about the process beforehand. One is that we feel strongly that the government should include much stronger citizen and stakeholder participation in the appointment process. Canadians, and not just big telecom companies, will be affected by the choices that the CRTC makes. In the end, we are the ones who are affected by decisions that center around diversity, access, choice, uh, and other key metrics for a strong digital future. The best guarantee of that strong future is policymakers who value processes that are open, citizen-centric, and public interest oriented. To that end, the pro-internet community has been pushing for criteria for appointments to the CRTC to include significant experience in the public interest or consumer advocacy communities. You can send that recommendation, along with others that we have for an open and affordable internet, to your MP by visiting openmedia.ca slash report. Although there isn't an official way for Canadians to participate in the appointment process yet, we can still make our voices heard, learn about potential chairs, and engage in discussions online and off to help shape the future of the CRTC. For the internet, this is Lindsay with your openmedia.ca weekly news update, signing off.